So here, here's what happened. He says, well, let's go out. Let's hang out and celebrate since he got the Microsoft, the, the MVP award. It's fine. Says we're going to go have dinner and go see a comedy show. Well, that's all well and good. Where the problem occurred was the restaurant that was selected wasn't in the little down. It's like a downtown area with where the theater is. Plenty of restaurants to choose from. No, they pick a restaurant that's like 10, 15 minutes from the the primary location. Now, I don't travel when I travel. If I'm going to go somewhere, if I'm going to drive 30, 40 minutes, that's where I'm going. Park the car. You're welcome to do whatever you want to do within that little vicinity. You want to eat there. You want to see something, whatever. But you do it there. You don't. You don't go somewhere and then get back in your car and go to another place while you're out. Steve Weiner here from GetRebix.com. And today we're going to keep talking about updating to Windows 11 with Intune. And we're going to talk about an application package you can deploy to all your Windows 11 devices to make sure they all have the same customizations, regardless of whether they came from Autopilot or if you onboarded them through Group Policy or Comag. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's a nice gesture that these people wanted to, you know, take me to a show and have dinner or whatever. But it's, I mean, it's absolutely ludicrous what some people, you know, propose. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. So this is how I would expect my Windows 11 devices to all look. Um, I have my background, right, the Rubik's desktop. I have uh, my taskbar line to the left. I have the search icon. Uh, that's not the whole search bar down here. When I right click, I have the traditional right click menu as opposed to the newer one. So all of this, well, most of this comes from either new Windows 11 devices going through autopilot. I keep all this in the branding. I do have some of it in Intune policy. Um, now this is opposed to this over here. This is pretty much the opposite of everything I want. I got widgets, I got this task view, I got my search, you know, box field thing, I got uh, this new right click menu. I don't like any of this, but this is still an Intune enrolled machine. This was either migrated or onboarded, or perhaps this was um, a device that came from, uh, you know, group policy or co-management, whatever the case is. Now that we've gone over how to upgrade to Windows 11, it's really important for the user experience. We know how to keep things relatively the same as a Win 10 device. It'll help the users if that's what you want to do. If not, and you want to force change on people, more power to you. So how can we do this and how can we make sure it only applies to our Windows 11 devices? So what we're going to do is we're going to make an application package. So I'm going to call this Fix Win 11. And we're going to have a few things in here. First thing we're going to have is, you guessed it, a PowerShell script. And that's going to be called Install PS1. I also want my wallpaper in here. Okay, so there's my wallpaper. And I'm going to put that in here called rubix.jpg. So we'll be all set. And let's go ahead and start talking about what we're going to do here. So we're going to kind of, what we're going to do is we're going to put our require, we're not going to do a whole lot of if, we're going to put our requirements for the script. We're, we're going to use a requirements script to determine if we're going to run this. And if we are going to run it, we are essentially just going to kind of plow through everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to copy item, copy the wallpaper, copy item, path, Yes, script root dot rubix dot jpeg and my destination will be c windows web wallpaper force okay so now that the wallpaper is local i'm going to start setting some policies so i'm going to say reg exe oh one thing that's really important is we are going to have to get the current user because some of these policies are HKCU and we don't have that so it's going to have to be HKU so we're going to need a new PS drive and the name is going to be HKU PS provider is going to be the registry so what we'll have to do here 
is we're going to have to do reg exe at hku. Oh, nope. Next, we need the SID. So we're going to get the user object, get WMI object, class win32 computer system, select object, username, username just like we do for everything else. New object, this is gonna be system, security, principal, and T account, I'm gonna put in the username. Uh, and this'll be dot translate to system, security, principal, security identifier. And we're going to pull the value out of that. And now we should have our SID of the current user. So this makes the path uh, for a lot of, for our, our user path. So user reg path is going to be HKU SID software. And we can leave it at that. So now what we can do is we can say reg exe add user reg path uh, Microsoft Windows Microsoft Windows current version policies system is wallpaper that is going to be a reg string and the value is going to be C Windows web wallpaper rubix.jpg and of course an outpost and now I just have to set that wallpaper style user reg path Microsoft Windows current version policy system. This is wallpaper style. The same, it's a D word actually. And that value is going to be the number four. Okay. Uh, so that takes care of the wallpaper. Next, we're going to fix a few other things. We're going to fix the search on taskbar mode, so that's going to change it to the icon. Um, and that is a machine policy now. So actually, we'll do that at the end. So let's do the uh, let's do the right click thing. Reg key add user reg path. That'll be Microsoft. That Classes, and again, this is for the context menu. Classes, CLSID. This one's a little weird. This one I have to paste in because it's just a crazy string quid. Um, but you'll have, you'll be able to pull this from my GitHub. In fact, we've done this before, so you might already have this. Okay, and then we're gonna say in proc server 32. And we're gonna force VE Reg 64. That's how that goes. Okay, last one is the taskbar alignment. Last one for the user path. Reg path is going to be Microsoft, Windows, Windows Search. We're going to do search on taskbar mode. And this is going to be a D word. And it's going to be one, I believe. Yep. Okay, the widgets are actually here as well. So I'm going to still do this. Which path is going to be Microsoft Windows current version Explorer. For advanced 
explore advanced and we can do the value is called taskbar DA. Not really sure what that stands for. Type is reg D word. And the data point is a zero. Okay, so I'm actually gonna copy this path because we're gonna have two more for this. So this one is going to be the taskbar. Taskbar AL for taskbar alignment. It's going to be a ridge D word. And that is going to be a zero to put it to the left. And the final one is going to be for the task view button. Oh. And this is also going to be a D word with a zero value. So that should take care of those. Now my last one, which is the search icon, that's actually now a machine policy. So it'll be HKLM, software, Microsoft, Windows, Windows search. That value will be search on taskbar mode E word. Uh, D word. The data for that is a one, and we'll outpost that. So that should take care of everything for us. So now what we want to do is we want to write a file basically as a detection rule. So we'll say new item pass um c program data microsoft and we'll call this uh win 11 settings dot tag item type file oops okay so before we package few things here uh there shouldn't be a hyphen there we forgot the root up here which is hk users so it knows where to point to and the software microsoft this needs a policies so we are all good to go there search on taskbar mode and that is going to be a one what we're going to do is we're going to call the version uh, environment OS version dot version dot build. I just kind of want to show you what this spits out if I run it. Uh, so if I call version, you see I got 22631 because anything over 2200 is Windows 11. So what we can do is we can say if version is less than 22, uh, well, thousand, 22,000. Then we can write output Windows 10. And then we'll exit. Exit zero. Else, we'll write output Windows 11. Exit zero. That's all we need. Very, very simple. Uh, okay, so let's package this up. Make sure everything is saved. It is. Uh, I'm gonna put my Intune Win tool here, of course. I've been asked about this. You, you don't have to include it. I guess it adds some space. It's easier for me when I wanna be lazy to point to my own directory. Install the PS1 but whatever, so there we go. Everything's packaged up. Let's put it in Intune. So we have apps, Windows, Win32, select. I'm gonna go ahead and select your package file. Uh, is that the right one? Yes, it, uh, no, it's not the right one. 
We want Fix Win 11. I almost did the wrong one. Look at that. Uh, fix Windows 11 settings. Uh, we'll say reconfigure Win 11 settings, including, uh, let's say, wallpaper, task, taskbar, search box widgets task view and right click whatever that's a nice little looks good right publisher put whatever I'll put me and I'll tell you what I'll even add a nice little logo I found even though it doesn't really matter okay fair enough our install command is PowerShell exe execution policy bypass install.ps1 no uninstall command now for our requirements we can just select the minimum OS here what you're asking is why wouldn't we just use this well for some reason uh, we just upgraded and Intune hasn't caught up yet we do need to check the actual device so it's not a bad move to do that but what I am gonna do because we're talking about migrating um, and doing this right after is this is going to be a little more efficient. So I am going to use a script Call this win 11 requirement I'm going to grab our script And we are basically going to The output has to be a string equals Windows 11 So this will account for if the inventory hasn't been properly updated yet um, I don't know. Overall, I think it's kind of helpful. And then our file for detection is going to be C program data, Microsoft, and it's going to be, whoa, what did I call it? I called it, let's go ahead and deploy this. I'm actually going to deploy this to all my devices. All right, so let's see what happens now because this app should be installing. What I'll do is I'll kind of force a, a sync through the company portal. That always tends to work because we need this device to look like this device. I'll do a sync and let's see what happens. All right, we already see it coming down here. Okay, and it looks like it flipped. Um, so we can check a few things on the device just to make sure. Uh, we can, yep, I don't know what I did there. We can go to Program Data Microsoft and look for our Windows 11 settings tag. So that's there. Um, if we look and see Windows Web Wallpaper, Great, it copied our file over. And obviously it got all the registry settings, except, oh, nope, it got the right click as well. There we go. So it looks like we got just the icon. We removed the widgets and the task view. All right, so now my other onboarded device, these look identical. It looks like my theme's a little different here. I didn't account for that, but that's definitely something you can adjust as well. When I talked about downplaying Windows 11, this is kind of part of it because, you know, I, if I adjust my settings correctly and match everything up to the way folks were happy with in Windows 10, this is one where you can deploy it to all your devices. And, you know, if the policies are already there, it's not going to do anything by pushing them again. And by doing this, you'll kind of just keep everything in line, right? So no matter where the devices are coming from, when they're going to Windows 11, they're going to look a certain way and feel a certain way. And that's going to give you a positive user experience. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'll put this on the GitHub and we'll be seeing you.